Um, this is a story about being absent and not being present and some of the dangers of that. And it's laced with um, love and loss and lettuce and a really good sing-along at the end, so I hope you'll join in. So it all started in a bar when I uh, met a girl called Tamara. And I said, uh, hey, Tamara, what do you do for a living? And she said, oh, I'm a scientist. And I said, ah, oh, that's a coincidence, because I'm a scientist too. What sort of science uh, do you do? She said, well, I'm an agricultural scientist, and I'm developing a, a sustainable lettuce that will grow anywhere in the world, and it's going to solve world hunger, because I got into science because I wanted to, to help the world. And I said, well, yeah, that's hardly rocket science, is it? <laughs> <laughs> And she said, uh, so what's, uh, what got you into science? Why did you start? And I said, oh, I just cos. <laughs> <laughs> but I do a lot more than science. It's, that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she said, you're just an idiot, aren't you? I said, no, 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 no. And she said, you don't know anything about science, do you? I said, she, she said, I bet you don't even know what the periodic table is. I said, yeah, I do. I've got one at home. She said, yeah, I said, yeah, yeah it's got, uh, I've got a table at home and it's got jars of lithium and uh, boron and hydrogen and helium and tampons. <laughs> and she, she got up to walk out. I said, oh, no, no, seriously, let me tell you all about what I actually do. So I'm actually um, a practitioner in Reiki and, uh, you know, that's where I can heal people just, you know, without even touching them. I can have, you know, my hands above them and I can heal whatever's ailing them, whether it's, you know backache or terminal illnesses or whatever and yeah I've been really successful at it and then I was introduced to to another version of it called absent Reiki where yeah I didn't even have to be in the same room as people and remarkably I found it just as effective as the Reiki I was doing when I was in the room <laughs> it's extraordinary I said, well, yeah, all I need is a credit card and people are just being healed everywhere it was extraordinary so I suddenly had this thriving business and I was healing people in the next state and then it went overseas and I had people in other countries and healing their pets and all sorts of things so that was absolutely a massive success so I went on late night television on the uh, shopping channel and I was on the psychic show and it was just people ringing in everywhere and then one night you know as luck would have it this woman rang in and said and she was a little hard of hearing and she said um, I've got a whole lot of leaves in my garden I need cleared away and I hear you do raking and I said <laughs> I said, okay, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, for sure. So, uh, okay, I can take care of that tomorrow. Just give me your credit card details. And uh, look, you won't even know I'm there because I won't be. And while I'm not there, I can do your pruning and I can mow your lawns. And, and, and that just took off as the whole absent gardening business, which was sensational as well. And then I thought, you know, I, I diversified into a bit of plumbing, absent electrician work. The world was my oyster. But then, uh, Tamara, I said, I've got to get back to my roots where I really want to heal people. So I then sort of came back to doing more health-related health things. So I got into some absent dentistry and uh, did some absent hip replacements. And I, and I just started out with some absent um, prostate examinations. So some of you guys may feel a little uncomfortable when I'm in this performance. But, um, yeah, just breathe through it and I'll give you your results afterwards. <laughs> At this stage, Tamara got up and said, you're just a complete idiot. Um, um, and I said, no, Tamara, please, just look, I, I feel like we've really got something here. Uh, just take my card, and if, if you feel differently in the morning, just give me a call, because I, th yeah, I, I think we should get married. I just think we're, 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 we're perfectly matched. And, yeah, she stormed out. Anyway, next morning I got a call from... And she said, hey, it's Tamara. I said, hey. And she said, uh, look, that, that backache I had, I've had for weeks, it's gone. I said, yeah, hey. And she said, and, and the, the wisdom teeth I was about to get out, they've all, they've all gone as well. It's incredible. I said, yeah, well, there you go. And, yeah, the cat's cured of its terminal illness and the carpets are all cleaned. And I just said, it's amazing. And I said, yeah, well, what about, you know, two in the morning? Did you feel anything a bit special? <laughs> Oh my God, I had the most incredible orgasm I've ever had. She said, Was that you? I said, Well, he, he yeah, it might have been. And she said, Well, are we? And she Oh my God, she said, So you're, you're brilliant at sex in bed, you're a real handyman, you're a medical marvel, you're not going to get under my feet anytime soon. So, hey, well, yeah, I, let's get married. Fantastic. So, so we did. And so we had a beautiful, I was away, but we had a beautiful. <laughs> absent wedding and 
uh, yeah, she said she felt a bit awkward, so my best man stood in for me, which was nice. And then we had a lovely absent honeymoon in um, Fiji, and uh, my best man stood in there as well, which was lovely. And then, um, yeah, life just got better, and it was just beautiful. We had three absent conceptions, which was lovely. I've got three beautiful West Indian children. <laughs> Strangely, my best man's West Indian, but that's, it's just, yeah, it's just incredible. And life just went on and it was just so amazing. Um, and then until one day, and, you know, there's a saying that says, uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And uh, Henry Fonda said that to his daughter Jane when she was born with a really small heart and he just left. So I'm not sure absence does make the heart grow what fonder, but anyway, I have to think about that one. And um, look, because um, uh, one day Tamara rang me and said, look, I'm turning 40 soon. We, I know we've had a beautiful life not together, but um, it's, suddenly I've just realised that, you know, all my friends have their husbands around. You and I have never been in the same room and, and we've never made love together when you're actually there and given me an orgasm. And I said, what, you want to be in the same room? That's a bit weird. And she said, no, I really demand that you come up tomorrow night. I want you in the room. I want you having sex with me. And I want you to give me an orgasm. Otherwise, it's all over. And I'm like, oh, shit. OK, pressure. And it and, oh, gets a bit emotional at that point. So I'm just going to do the rest of the act in, oh, sorry, the story in a, in a song. So feel free to sing along and join in. <laughs> this is the musical interlude. Something like this. Me and Tamara late at night. We're working through the Kama Sutra, Kama Sutra. And I stimulate her mound of Venus with a battery operated penis. She likes to call Nigel battery operated penis. But still she shows no signs, still she shows no signs of an impending orgasm, orgasm, such as increasingly rapid breathing, dilated pupils and a slightly engorged clitoris. Clitoris, here's the chorus, if tomorrow never comes. <laughs> Then our relationship is over <laughs> But my tongue is getting sore My fingers are red raw From stimulating her erogenous zones Stimulating her erogenous zones But I've tried everything I know Including circular motions around her G-spot but I was done three hours ago And she's just reached the plateau What if tomorrow never comes? A lot of things took place after that, that night And some of them legal in Some states of America And eventually Eventually Thank God for tomorrow's special friend Cos Nigel got her there in the end Then tomorrow finally comes It's a song with a happy ending Do we want to sing along? Yes! Tomorrow's coming, Lord Kumbaya Tomorrow's coming, Lord Clap your hands Kumbaya new the chords. Tomorrow's come and Lord, come by ah. Oh Lord, come by ah. Oh Lord, come by ah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Frank Francis!